Welcome to another Kogi video tutorial where we will show you how to place simple shapes and images on the screen. Without further ado, let's just right jump into it and get in our main.kt. I downloaded the Kogi Hello World sample project and I got rid of the sample code in the main function. So we start with a simple circle. Let's create it call it circle and make it a circle object and give it a radius of 20 and the color green and then with the function add child which in this case belongs to the parent view with this which is this stage we add the circle let's see how it looks and there is our green circle. It's placed at the coordinates 0, 0.0 because we didn't specify any others. And you can see the anchor where it's placed is in the top left of this virtual rectangular bounding box around this circle. To place it in another location, we can just chain the function call dot x, y and specify other coordinates like 100.100 and there it is at another location. Actually there is an easier way to add views to the parent view. We don't have to create an object and add it ourselves. We can just use an extension function to container. Containers are views and this stage, for example, is a container and it has the extension function with the lowercase c, it's circle. I can show it, it like, looks like this. And you can see that it applies the object it is called on to the receiver, which in this case is a container. And in our very special case here is this stage. So this code is exactly the same or does exactly the same as the code earlier but we saved one line. These extension functions exist for all shapes and views that can be added to the screen. Let's add another shape to the stage. This time let's choose a rectangle, a solid rectangle with 100 and height 100. And let's make it gold and place it just a bit to the right and down from the circle. And now you can see how they overlap because the later a few gets added to the parent view, the higher it is in the drawing stack. Let's place an image view on the screen now. For this, we have to read a bitmap and I have image file here under the resources folder. I have to read this bitmap. And we can use the method resource virtual file system and call it on the path of the image file. In this, in this case, it's only corgi.png and use the call read bitmap. We can now use this bitmap to place an image on the screen. Let's call it image and just give it the bitmap as a texture. There is our bitmap. It's in the, uh, the latest in the call hierarchy. So it's um, overlapping all the others. We can make it a bit smaller scale dot three. So now we have the image here. To manipulate the appearance of the views, we can just use direct access of the mutable properties. Let's just call apply here. And for example, we call rotate, rotate rotation degrees is like 5.0. Let's get a bit higher actually. 50.0 and now we rotated it by 50 degrees. Let me show you some other examples. Let's get rid of this rotation and use alpha 0 0.5. We 
now it's semi-transparent. We will link some more examples for properties and the documentation of the views down in the video description and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials.